Good day everyone. Today I am going to demonstrate how to do printer deployment. So first, let's open our VM virtual box. Then let's open our server machine. So first, let's uh, create our account. And let's create our organizational unit and rename it as redirection. So let's drag our account in our OU. Yes. Okay. So after creating an account, let's close this window. Then open our server manager. Then click add roles. Then click next. Then check the box beside print and document services. Then click next. Then click next. Click next install then let's close this window then click start over to administrative tools then Go to our group policy management, then let's create a policy under redirection OU. So rename this GPO2 printer, then click OK, so let's check, we have our GPO under redirection. Then. Let's close this window. Okay, let's click start and hover administrative tool. Look for print management. Click it. Then expand the server or click the plus sign beside server. Then click the plus sign or click this printers. Then on the white space, right click, we need to add a printer that we are going to deploy in our server. So click at the add printer, then click next, then click next, then click this Epson, click Epson AL2600, then click next, then make it sure that uh, the share this printer is checked then click next then click next then finish then let's right click and click properties let's double check okay the share this printer is already checked then let, uh, let's click 
security tab click add so let's add our account so you're going to type here your log on name then click check and click ok then check manage this printer allow and manage document allow click apply click ok then you need to deploy this printer now so right click on your printer that you want to deploy then click this deploy with group policy then click browse then uh, click this uh, OU of yours then you will see your uh, policy then click OK then let's click this then let's click add so uh, let's click apply click ok then click ok then now we are going to test if this one works well so let's close this window let's open our client machine Okay, let's join our client machine in our domain. Okay, let's log in our account. Okay, now we're going to test if the printer deployment works fine so let's open notepad then let's type hello world okay let's wait as you can see we have in our options we have the Edson AL2600 on server because we deploy that printer within our server machine and it was deployed for every user that under in our organization so what would happen if the account or login account doesn't belong in our OU do we still see this printer so the answer is no. So let's try that one. So let's create 
another account. Let's create another account. So let's try to drag this account and our OU to this. And I have another account here, Galvin Nebreja. So this account will be remain here. And the account of Karen Nebreja is under our OU. So let's try first to log in the account of my sister so let's open again the notepad As you can see, you can still uh, see this Epson AL2600 because the account of my sister belongs to our OU and we deployed the printer within that organizational unit. Now, if we are going to log in the account of my brother, we're not going to see the printer because the account of my brother doesn't belong to the organizational unit. So let's open a notepad. See? You cannot see the printer here because the printer is only deployed for the user under our organizational unit. So that's all for printer deployment.